Hello and welcome to another ADAS calibration video. Today we'll be calibrating the front recognition camera on a 2023 Toyota Corolla Hybrid. We'll be using our iSmartLink 801 display tablet along with our ADAS mobile calibration platform. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll start by plugging in our VCI into the vehicle's OBD2 port. And then we'll go ahead and turn the ignition on to position two. And then we'll click on ADAS calibration. Okay, the vehicle's communicating with our VCI. We'll go ahead and select on Toyota. Toyota uses the 16 pin DLC, so we'll select that. Now this vehicle has the front camera, so we'll click on front camera. However, it does not have the smart key, so I'll go ahead and select without smart key. Okay, we'll go ahead and click on ADAS system scan. This will check all of the different ADAS uh, modules that are in the vehicle. This one's equipped with the front recognition camera as well as the front radar sensor. We can go ahead and generate a report. This would be our pre-repair report. We'll go ahead and hit OK. And this gives us all of our information about the vehicle in its current state. So we'll hit save. We'll press the back arrow and we'll move on to the calibration function. We're working on the front camera calibration, so we'll click on that. And then we'll choose the recognition camera axis adjust recommended. And we'll be using the ADAS mobile platform. And now we're ready to run through the steps. We'll start by determining the center line of the vehicle. So starting in the front of the vehicle, we'll determine our point A, and at the rear of the vehicle will be our point B. So we'll take our plumb bomb, find the center here, and we'll place our cross pad down. And then we'll take our five line laser and place it on top of the cross pad. And we'll go ahead and move to the rear of the vehicle. Here at the rear of the vehicle, we'll go ahead and determine our point B. So find our center. And then we'll go ahead and place our laser reflector at the rear here. Moving back to the front of the vehicle, we'll go ahead and turn on our five line laser and we'll go ahead and shoot that back towards the rear of the vehicle. And we'll use our auxiliary mirror here to make sure that I'm uh, making a connection at point B. So we'll place that here. We'll use our fine tune And there, I can see the laser at the rear. I'll press the V button again, and that gives us our center line. With our center line defined, we wanna go ahead and mark our first point, which will be point C, and that's gonna be the length of how far the target will be away from the vehicle. The specifications calls for 85 millimeters, and so that's about 3.35 inches. So we'll go ahead and find our center, 
and place our target at 85. Next, we'll go ahead and move the ADAS mobile calibration frame into position. We'll go ahead and turn on our Centaur laser and we'll have that overlap the five line laser and position it at point C, which again is 85 millimeters uh, back from the center of the vehicle. And then we'll go ahead and center the laser from our cross laser to the emblem of the vehicle so that we're centered here. And then we'll go ahead next, we're gonna go ahead and check our level. And I can see that our fore and aft is good. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock our rear caster down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make an adjustment here to level out the frame. A little bit more. Okay, so we're good and center. I'll go ahead and lock down the rest of the casters. And we'll move on to the next step. And we're just gonna go ahead and double check to make sure that our frame is parallel with the vehicle. We can use our fine tune adjustment here. And next we're gonna go ahead and set the height of the frame. So we'll turn on our height laser here. The specs call for the frame to be at 1350. We're currently at 1175, so we'll go ahead and crank that up. Okay, we're at 1351 and 1350. Okay, we'll move on to our next step. Next, we're gonna go ahead and remove the cross laser from our stand and place the LAM01064 target in its place. So I'm gonna turn off the laser. I'm gonna remove it, place it down here. We'll grab our LAM01064 target. It's in this p pattern here. And we'll place it in the center. Okay, with our target all set up now, we're ready to calibrate. So I'm gonna go ahead and step behind the sight line of the camera and we'll go ahead and press on the calibration button. Okay, and next step is to turn off the ignition and turn it back on. Okay, so I've cycled the ignition. I'm gonna press okay. And we have a successful recognition camera com uh, completion. So we'll go ahead and save the ADAS report. And that completes the front recognition camera calibration for this 2023 Toyota Corolla. We hope you found the video helpful and we'll see you at the next one. Bye for now.